Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Beauty in All Places. My name is Sadia and welcome! <laughs> I'm having a wonderful day, very productive day, feeling good about myself, feeling good about my skin. Look at the glow, guys. Feeling beautiful, feeling inspired, feeling invigorated. Happy New Year's, guys. I'm so happy to be alive. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to be on my channel. I'm just so happy. Like, I don't know any other girl that's happier than me right now. And I'm so happy to be back with you guys. I know it's been a while. It's been a struggle. Do not comfort me, okay? I'm doing the best that I can. I'm doing the best that I can. <laughs> I am. I've been filming. I've just, I just haven't been really, like, you know, please with the outcome of some of the content that I've created. So I don't want to put it out if I'm not completely like happy with it. So before I go on rambling on, I just wanted to come on here and bring to you guys a skincare video because I've been loving skin. As you guys can see, I'm not wearing any foundation. I'm only wearing some glow products to, you know, make my skin look, I'm sorry, make my skin look nice and glowy. So. <laughs> I know I'm beginning to ramble on and I don't want to. So I wanted to come on come on here and give you guys a skincare video to show you guys what I've been doing with my skin and the products that I've been loving, especially for this winter season. Um, I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about the stuff that I use on my skin and maybe it'll, it'll inspire you guys to, um, you know, get up with your skin and get it glowing and looking nice and moisturized and good and healthy and hydrated for this winter um, season. If I haven't said it, which I know I did, but I'm going to say it again. Happy New Year's, guys. I'm so happy to be alive. I'm so happy to be here again in a New Year's. I just want to show you guys my skirt because it's making me feel a hella freaking sexy and you guys need to see my skirt. Just, just hold on, let me get up. Okay. Isn't this skirt just the sexiest skirt you've ever seen? Well, I don't have it tucked in, guys, but I mean, look at this skirt. Let me put my chair in. Look at this skirt. Oh, oh look at how sexy I feel in this skirt. Oh my gosh. I mean, I just, I just wanted to show you guys that. I just threw it on, you know, I haven't really like, you know, stuck it in there properly because I know it wouldn't be showing, but since I put it on for you guys, I might as well share it with you. So, <laughs> so there, there you have it. There you have it, my skirt. <laughs> it's making me feel this good, so I might as well share it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let me let's get into this video <laughs> before <laughs> I carry on some more. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I wanted to talk about, guys, to keep your skin hydrated and feeling good and looking good and healthy, since your skin is the largest organ on your body, water. I drink lots of water, at least I try to drink lots of water. Sometimes I don't get enough, sometimes I get too much and I'm always in the restroom. But the best self-care tip I can give you about skin is drinking lots of water. I've been drinking this bottle since this morning. Um, I don't know how much ounces this holds, but I try to drink as much um, of this as I can. Some days it's two, some days it's three. I'm working on it. I'm not perfect, but that's the first skincare tip I can give you guys, that if you want nice, hydrated, glowy looking skin, drink lots of water, okay? All right, so that's out of the way. Now for the actual skin and how I care for my skin, I'm going to go with stuff that I use in the shower and then I'm going to go to like my specific face care stuff, okay? So the first thing I wanna talk about is, I've got like a table full of stuff here. <laughs> um, let's do shower care first since we, we want to stay like looking good. Now, this is what I use 
I almost dropped it. <laughs> I use the Ultra Moisture Shea Butter um, Olay Body Wash. Um, it looks like this. Um, it's I don't always use this particular um, fragrance, but I like this moisturizer, be this um, shower gel, because it is a cream shower gel. And in the winter, I don't want anything that's going to... Actually, I, I never ever use like liquid... Uh, shower gel it always has to be a cream for me um, because it just adds some moisture into my skin and especially for winter I don't want anything that's going to pull the moisture out of my skin when I'm showering I want to like replenish and moisturize as well as clean and this does the job it cleans my skin very well and I love it I think one of my favorite scents is I think it's like a, it's either the pomegranate or I don't know it comes with like a pink instead of yellow um, cap on the top so that's that as well as I also and I've talked about this in a previous skincare video that I did is the um, Dove exfoliating body scrub I love this I've had this since last year and um, Oh my gosh guys this one is the pomegranate seed and shea butter like this stuff is amazing I use this to scrub underneath my arm I use it to scrub the corners off down there um, I use it all over my body it really exfoliates really nicely I wish they had different intensity and in exfoliants in this but outside of that it smells divine like oh my it smells like an angel's cum. <laughs> it smells like what an angel cum should smell like. It just smells so divine. I just want to put it all over my body and just... Oh, it looks like that. And as you guys can see, I'm going through this. Um, I love this. I, I just love this. I, I can't talk too much about this. Like, this is amazing. Um, also, I wanted to talk about um, what I use to shower and exfoliate my body because I don't always use that scrub and that's why it's, 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 I still have it because I don't use it every day. I use it for like special occasions when I know my skin is going to be out and I want it to have some extra niceness as well as a nice little fragrance. Um, on every, on an everyday basis, this is what I use. I mean to exfoliate my skin and to wash my body. I know it looks a little janky right now, but this is what I use. This is my girl. I'm gonna get a new one, but this one is doing the job for now, <laughs> okay? Um, I use a loafah. I recommend loafahs. They're, they work. Um, they really exfoliate my skin better than just a washcloth. I love them. I feel like they're more sanitary because I don't feel like the fibers of the loafah actually traps germs. This is just my opinion, but um, I love loafahs. This is what I use on an everyday basis to cleanse my skin or exfoliate exfoliate and cleanse my skin so that's that after showering is done um, the lotion or moisturizer for, moisturizer for my skin that I've actually been loving so much is this one from st. Ive it's the hydrating vitamin E avocado body um, lotion Oh my gosh guys this is so divine I love this lotion it is is so moisturizing it smells divine I know I just said divine but I'm gonna use that word again because oh my gosh I love it so much that I bought a little travel um, size one to put in my gym bag and <laughs> just just so that I can be moisturized and um, smelling good every time <laughs> But I truly recommend this, especially for winter. Like, it really moisturizes your skin. After I use that to moisturize my skin, I go in with this um, Johnson's Lavender Oil Gel. And this is just to lock in the moisture that I've just put into my skin from the St. Ives. Because I feel like this, this locks in the moisture and gives me a nice sheen and glow on my skin. So that's why I use this. And the fragrant, this smells it smells so nice and fresh and light that it doesn't overpower the um, lotion that I use the um, st. Ives lotion like it's just so divine and I know this is probably like a baby product 
but I, I love it and I love the fragrance so this is what I use after that so I also wanted to talk about the um, fragrance that I use if you guys don't already know I am vegan I am a new vegan I've been a vegetarian for the last two and a half years and I recently chose and decided to become vegan and I use this fragrance um, it is the Pacifica Tahini Gardenia perfume in here body mist oh wow I never put this in my hair I really jumped over hair and just use this on my body this is a 100% vegan cruelty free product it looks like this it smells divine guys like oh, how can I describe this scent it definitely <laughs> there's something in my mouth it definitely smells very like gardening like very I wouldn't say it smells earthy it smells very lightly floral with I don't know like it just smells so good I can't describe the fragrance but I love this I've been wearing this for the past two or so months and every time like I was in the gym after my workout today getting ready and this lady was like oh you smell so nice what what are you wearing and I was like I showed her this and she's like where do you where can you get this I actually picked this up at Ulta and um, I love this scent so much like it's it's my scent because I don't wear a lot of perfumes because sometimes some perfumes um, they change the body my body chemistry and after I put them on it it almost as if it shifts my aura or it just makes me feel weird and um, I don't like to wear a lot of perfume especially perfumes that don't work with my body chemistry you know what I mean so I really like body mess because um, they're light um, you can just chug them on with anything they're not too overpowering they just give you a nice fresh fragrance smell so that is all the stuff that I got for my actual skin which is the biggest organ on your body and take care of it so now I'm going to move on to um, the face oh before I move on to the face I just wanted to um, also mention this deodorant um, it is the free me mango all natural deodorant from Fran and Gong. I've mentioned this deodorant already in one of my skincare videos. I still use it. I still use the mango flavor. I love this deodorant. You would think that a deodorant that comes in a can doesn't last all day and make you smell fresh all day, but I recommend this. And um, I'm gonna link this below. Um, I love this deodorant. So I had to mention that again. And before I move on also, I've got two, um, two actually three more products that that um has to do with skincare um and the body so in i have two hand creams that i recommend um this is the nivea cream it looks like oops it looks like this um looks like that um i keep this in my car because i work in the kitchen as well as the front desk at my job and when I am washing dishes or pre preparing food and I have to constantly keep my hands washed I use this after work and it just replenishes the moisture in my skin and makes my hands feel good again um, this one is really good this one is the Dionys um, goat milk no it's the lavender blossom um, Dionys uh, goat milk hand cream yeah goat milk yeah to the vegan girl but I actually picked this up before I was vegan and I still have some in there and I'm going to use it because it smells so divine and it it's not too thick and it really moisturizes my hands like on the everyday and when I do use this I'll rub it down on my neck because it's such a nice fragrance and I love this hand cream um, I wanted to, to give a mention to the Burt's Bee um, cuticle butter cream thing. I mean, I would love to find another cuticle cream because, or cuticle oil. I'm really looking for a good cuticle oil. But I thought I'd mention this because I, I mean, I've used it a couple times. It's not my favorite, but it's the only one that I have. So if you guys have any recommendations, 
into like a actual cuticle oil like an oil oil um, I would really really appreciate this because I don't know if this is doing anything for my cuticles I don't think this is hydrating my cuticles much just saying um, so I would love like an actual oil I love cuticle oils and I thought this was going to do the job and would make too much of a mess because it's more of a like a cream but it really doesn't do much for me so I would like something else okay so on to the face and then oh quick mentions I just wanted to quickly mention some other cleansing items that I use at in the shower and possibly it could help you guys out a little bit okay guys so I just wanted to to give a little mention to these um, to these two products like I've been using these in my hair and oh my gosh the Maui moisture heal and hydrate shea butter and the curl quench coconut oil and shampoo these have been the savior of my hair like lately like I will use this and not forget to moisturize my hair and still wondering why my hair is so moisturized. These these products, the shampoo and conditioner does not pull the moisture from my hair. Even the shampoo when I use a shampoo like this is a shampoo. It doesn't pull the moisture out of my hair. It cleans my hair without drenching it off its moisture and the conditioner is so amazing. It has the right amount of slip to um, detangle my hair without you know me having to like be pulling on my hair and I just wanted to make a nice little mention about these because these have been the lifesaver of my hair and love these and I just wanted to mention those I know oral health is not much like skin but it's kind of like skincare and I just also wanted to make a little mention about the toothbrush and oral health care stuff that I use um, I use the Jason's um, power smile whitening toothpaste empowerment I use the Jason's whichever one I prefer picking up at that particular time is the one that I use um, I love Jason's products because Jason products does not have fluoride in it I don't want to I'm running out of breath I don't want to pick up like a non fluoride toothpaste from a company that also makes toothpaste with fluoride if you know what I mean um, Jason products does not have fluoride they brush and clean my mouth very well and I love them and I just wanted to also make a mention of that as well as the toothbrush that I use is from Lactona it's this um, natural fiber toothbrush I took I picked this up at my um, local like um, organic store and I've been loving this. I use, yeah, as I was saying, um, I really love this toothbrush and how it brushes my teeth. Also, for my oral health, I use the Swanson's um, Activator Gel to whiten my teeth. I don't use this every day because sometimes I just don't have the time. But at least once or twice a week, I try to um, use this to whiten my teeth as well as I always um have some of this ready to work with the swanson when i'm done this is just um baking soda with a little bit of water and i use that also to whiten my teeth sometimes exfoliate my skin sometimes put it underneath my armpit to kind of uh, exfoliate it and um kind of remove the discoloration from under there sometimes when there's like product build up underneath my armpits so i just wanted to make a couple um, mentions of those things so that that could help you guys out if you have the same kind of issues that i sometimes have with my skin so on on to skincare for my face I'm going to start with my cleanser my moisturizer and so forth so I just wanted to mention I have a few skincare systems that I use and I have a few well a lot of skincare products that I use to keep my skin looking nice and glowy like this as I say I'm not wearing any foundation this is just my skin um, I'm wearing other kinds of makeup but this is my skin I must say guys I'm, I really love systems. Systems have worked for me. Systems work. Some people, they, they need to get this from this brand, that from that brand, that from this. Systems work for me because before I started using systems, like different skincare systems, like my skin was not all the way together. And I finally find a skincare system that actually works amazingly for me and keeps my skin 
looking and feeling good and I absolutely positively swear by it for my skin I have combination to oily skin or oily to combination skin I'm not too greasy but I do get oily in my t-zone and the rest of my face is more natural and I do have like dry patches around my mouth sometimes especially in the winter time with that being said this is the skincare system that I use to cleanse my face and to moisturize, these are the products that I use, guys. And I'm telling you, they work amazingly. I use the liquid facial soap oil, oily skin formula from Clinique. This is what I use to cleanse my face on a daily basis. This works for me. And I have the entire system in this okay this works for me it it's not too harsh on my skin it doesn't strip away my skin's moisture it just cleanses my skin um, with this I use just a regular smegular um, brush sometimes I use my hands but mostly I use this I only use my hands when I find that I'm exfoliating too much and um, I need to like cut back on my exfoliation then I'll use my hands because I also have a couple of things that I use to exfoliate my skin but on the regular my daily um, cleansing tool is this brush I picked this up at um, roses I pay, paid five dollars for it it's it's not some expensive thing but it does wonders for my skin and I love it and I swear by it I mean one day I'll probably find something, you know, a little bit more expensive that I like also, but this has been working for me. I've been, I've had this for over a year and I swear by it. <laughs> so I use this to cleanse. Then I use the uh, clarifying lotion in three to tone or ex lightly exfoliate my skin with this, uh, <laughs> with the Swiss swispers exfoliating rounds now this cotton pad as you would call it it has like little I've mentioned this cotton pad, this cotton round before it has little exfoliant on one side and then a smooth um, side on the other and what I do is I use the exfoliating side along with this and I do and I wipe off my entire face excluding my eyes and my eyelids and then I use the softer side underneath my eyes and on my eyelids to remove any excess dirt or grime or oil buildup or whatever and that's how I um, exfoliate yeah as I was saying that's how I exfoliate my skin with this uh, clarifying lotion in number three from Clinique um, after I've done that I then use this to I'm sorry guys I use this daily hydration moisturizer from elf around my dry patches and the spots that normally get a little bit more dry I mean this this is like my holy grail okay when youtubers say um, they have a holy grail product this would be my holy grail it has a very thick consistency a similar consistency to the Cetaphil lotion um, just a little bit thicker to tackle like your dry spots and stuff like it really sinks into my skin and it really does what it says it's supposed to do which is to hydrate and I'm telling you guys like dry patches where dry patches who where on whom <laughs> not on me <laughs> not on me like this moisturizer from elf has been the savior for my skin especially in winter time like I have to have this okay so after I've used this around like my mouth where it's mostly dry sometimes around the corners of my nose and in the middle of my forehead where I sometimes get like this weird texture um, I go in with my um, dramatically different moisturizing gel also from Clinique to lock in the moisture into my skin because that's what this is formulated to do not only to moisturize but to keep the moisture in your skin so then I use this product I also use this underneath my eyes this is the Clinique smart guys I didn't know that this product was like 50 something dollars um, I think Clinique or Alta actually sent this to me and I've been using it and loving it it is a eye cream I use it daily like in the morning and in the night when I wash my face and I'm moisturizing um, it's the custom repair eye cream 
Guys, I went into Ulta to repurchase this and saw the price and I was like, let me step back for a moment. <laughs> but I got this um, for free from Ulta and I've been loving this, okay? So this system, these, these products, this system works for my skin, okay? works for my skin i found my holy grails and this works for me i do this every day daily like these products work for me okay now i'm going to go into some other products and skincare systems that also work for me and i use from time to time okay so give me one second let me get them so before I get into them, I just wanted to also share that inside this bag is also something that I use on my skin. It's amazing. It is, it looks like this. It's literally just coffee grinds from from work. We make Starbucks coffees as well at my job and I brought home the coffee grinds and I've actually used that to exfoliate my skin. I don't know why I said skin like that, but yeah, I use this to actually exfoliate my skin. I keep it in this little bag and um, exfoliate my skin and that's been my exfoliant for the past couple of months or so so I just wanted to make a little mention of that now for other products that I use on my skin first I wanted to mention this L'Oreal Hydra Fresh toner I use this toner whenever I feel like my skin is just you know just it, it, it's just trying to act up but it's not all the way there because I've probably been exfoliating too much as I mentioned sometimes I get carried away with the exfoliation guys and I just need something to rebalance my skin normally when that happens I still use my exfoliant from Clinique but I add this to the cotton round just to smooth it out and sometimes I skip this all together because my skin may be really like trying to act up on me and just use this because this is a little bit more milder and it has it has rose water in there to like you know just like <laughs> yeah guys as I was saying it has rose water in there to just hydrate my skin and soothe it so I also use, um, I love actually, Mario Badescu products. I use a lot of Mario Badescu products on my skin. This one is the Enzyme Cleansing Gel. It looks like this. As well as this one is the Alpha Grapefruit Cleansing Lotion. And it's kind of like a toner. And I like to use these at nighttime when I'm cleansing my skin or whenever I feel like my skin is like acting up and I just feel like I need to you know switch it up a little bit or give it a little bit more like care I use these products I also have some other Mario Badescu products that I use this and it, it comes in this little set here and this is how I use like you know a little bit more like bougier skincare I don't buy like the full size I buy travel sizes like this and I pinch them okay I literally pinch them like this is like my bougie skincare system I feel right and I I don't want it to end <laughs> okay so I take my time with it now I've only used this glycolic foaming cleanser like once or twice so I can't like give you guys anything on that I mostly use these two as well as um, I've used this this is the whitening mask. I've used this. I really like this. And this is the Glycolic Skin Renewal Complex. It comes in this little container like this. And I try to, you know, use these products when I need them. Not when I want to, just when I need them. Okay? Um, I've also been loving this Vitamin C Serum from Mario Badescu. I use this. On a daily basis like underneath all of my clinic stuff I try to use this sometimes I forget and I put it on top but a serum should go like underneath your moisturizer and all that um, I can tell you that this has tremendously brightened my skin but when I do put it on it feels like it's nourishing my skin and it gives my skin a really nice glow and I really like this vitamin C serum so I just wanted to make a mention of that yes so yeah that is for my mario badescu 
um, products. I also have here this lip balm. It's also from Mario Badescu. I've been searching for the perfect lip balm for winter because my lips have been so dry at the start of fall that I was like, I need something. I don't remember what I was using before. Oh, I was using the EOS lip balm and it, it just, it was just like, it just felt like a little grease like sitting on top of my lips. It didn't feel like it was actually going into my lips and hydrating my lips. And I was just like, oh, I need something else. You know what I mean? Because this isn't like, it's not moisturizing my lips. Surely when I put it on, the moisture isn't coming out. But I, don't, I just felt like it was sitting on top of my lips. And I was like searching for the perfect lip balm. And I finally found this one from Mario Badescu. It's just called the lip balm. Looks like that. Love this. Love this. Use this daily. I use this daily. And it looks a little rough because it's it's been in my handbag and my handbag is a mess. Okay? But um love this. Okay, if you guys are having like dried chap lips and you're looking for like the perfect lip balm to moisturize your lips and keep them moisturized and give them a nice healthy shine, I would go with this. And it's really affordable too. It's like seven or eight dollars at Ulta. So yeah, love this product. While I'm still on lips, let's just make a little good mention to this Wet n Wild lip scrub. It is the perfect pout lip scrub from Wet n Wild. It looks like this. And as you guys can see, I literally have little to nothing left in this. This and that lip balm from Mario Badescu have been my saviors for my skin. And hello, come back to me now. Yes, have just been amazing to my complexion, to my lips. The complexions of my lip. Let, let, let's just go on with that. Also from Mario Badescu, I have so many of this and I know this is low and I have my backup. Don't worry about it. This facial mist or setting spray, it's all the above, is one of my holy grail products. Okay guys, like if I don't have this, I feel like I'm missing out on life. Like I don't need to be wearing makeup to spray this on my face. After my skincare, I spray this on my face every single day. That's why this is, and I've been through so many of these, like boom, boom. Like so, I have so many bottles of this that I used to use this to like spray my plants. Like one bottle to spray my plants. Like I love, okay? Did I say love? I said love. I said love. Why am I yelling at you? Because I love this shit. <laughs> but seriously, guys. <laughs> I love, 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 love this facial spray. This one is the aloe herb and rose water one. I have the purple one in my makeup drawer and I've I've had the green one. Um, the green one is the aloe chamomile. Um, is the green one the aloe chamomile lavender? No, the purple one is the aloe chamomile lavender. The green one is the, I don't, I think it's just the aloe one. But um, love the setting spray. It really, it, it just like replenishes and hydrates your skin. Actually, let me put on some right now because I love this and I, I need it just a little bit. Oh, oh God. Oh, oof. Girl. 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 Mm -mm -mm. Love. Love. Love, 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 <laughs> I know I'm weird, but that is my excitement. Okay guys, so aside from that, when it comes to moisturizing and pre-makeup or just on a you know, makeup free or foundation free day. Cause I don't ever think I have like complete makeup free days, you know? I like to fill in my brows, I like to put on a little mascara and a little bit of liner and some something on the lips. So I wouldn't say makeup free, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, whatever. Um, I don't know if this is the original solid for Sally Unicorn Essence, but I bought it thinking that it was and 
is so I'm hoping that it is because I paid a small price for this but I'm telling you if it's not it really has made my skin look good anyways so I'm wondering what the is up okay this is the Farsali Unicorn Essence and this is from Farsali which is Farida Kain, our husband's brand and I love this I'm a little hesitant to talk anything about it because when I went back on Wish to see the price that I paid for this I was wondering, is this the bootleg or is this the real, the real deal, okay? And I'm confused. I'm confused because the real deal is like $54, okay? And I got this for probably 2 or $3 on Wish. So, Farah, if you're watching this, I love you. I didn't mean to buy the bootleg if this is the bootleg, but I really wanted your product and this one was available to me while I was shopping for other stuff on Wish and I was like, oh wow. I got so happy and finger happy that I was like, yeah, let me, let, let's put that in my cart. <laughs> okay, so I'm not sure if this is the real one, but if it, it, it looks like the real stuff, let me show you guys what it looks like. It looks like that. And I'm telling you, I love this stuff. It really does wonders for my skin i'm just gonna show you guys the bottle just in case this is what the real stuff look like i've been wondering it says manufactured in the u.s for fabrique ah you for Sally llc miami florida for Sally.com. so yeah so it did say for Sal for Sally on here so I'm thinking that it is the original product with fun and jokes aside and I really love this product especially before my foundation it just makes my foundation lay so nicely on my skin and it doesn't disrupt the foundation and I feel like it also has some skincare nourishing elements to it so I really love this product and I just wanted to make a mention of it in terms of facial removers and products of such I have two that I wanted to make a mention of I definitely want to mention my face halo for skincare like super inexpensive product that work reusable makeup cleansing pads you only need water to um, activate this product and it has been amazing for my skin um, it's lazy girl friendly when you want to lay in bed and remove your makeup <laughs> I just I just had to put it out there like you know when you're you're lazy and just come home from a party or from the club or whatever and you just you want to take off your makeup but you don't want to be like you know in the bathroom washing face and all that just bring your glass of water and your face halo and remove that makeup and you're good to go so I wanted to make a mention of my face halo this is the original face halo this is the face halo pro I had a I did a review on the face halo pro I just wanted to make a mention that I had mentioned in that video that the face halo it has like a little thing in there and it, it's stiff after I washed the face halo I realized that it became a little bit more flexible like this one this one I think is like I haven't washed this one I don't think this is the one that I use I just went into my drawer and dragged just pulled one but I don't think this is the one that I actually washed but the one that I actually washed um after I used it it became a little bit more flexible so I just wanted to mention that in this video love the face halo so I totally forgot to mention the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. It is a cleansing balm that removes, actually melts away my makeup. Like this along with my face halo does wonders for my skin. Like I can't talk too much about it. These are my magic duos and they work fantabulous, if that's a word, um, in removing my makeup and keeping my skin looking nice and clean so yeah here you go outside of the face halo I also have some other products that I love that keeps my skin looking nice and healthy and elegant and eloquent and lovely <laughs> um, I love sheet masks I have lots of them I love to stack up on sheet masks I feel like they are good for um, hydrating the skin especially when you get one that is specifically for hydration two days ago I used this one after my face mask um, this one is the yes do soothing calming um, paper mask um, I liked it I don't think it was the most hydrating of 
all the face masks, the um, sheet masks that I've ever used, but I'm gonna show you guys my favorite for hydration, okay? And I always repurchase this one. This one is the e.l.f. Hydrating Water Sheet Mask. Like, guys, this shit is gonna hydrate your skin, okay? Like, it's gonna keep, like, let me tell you how much I love this. The second time I used this sheet mask, I didn't have a backup, and I literally put it back in the bag because I would just done like a facial so my skin was clean I put it back into the container and I reused it because it has so much moisture in there that it wasn't going to dry out and after you use this, this um, sheet mask you don't need to moisturize your face you don't need to moisturize the skin it leaves your skin with this healthy luscious glow to your skin like I love this so I I, I have I have a backup after this okay yeah, this is my backup and when my backup when I use this one and I only have my back I'm gonna repurchase some more. Okay. I also have a couple more sheet masks This one I got in my ipsy glam bag. This one is the juice up kale mask It looks like that this one is from lab for you I actually got another one that came in my ipsy glam bag. It was a blueberry one I used that one it was it was good it was nice and then I have this um, pumpkin spice cha latte one from by nature so I like to stack up on sheet masks because they're just like amazing they're amaze balls so I don't know what else to say guys um, thank you for staying with me and um, being here while I showcase to you guys the things that I use to keep my skin looking nice and glowy like this <sighs> and so hydrated happy new year once again I am working on my consistency I just want to make um, content that I'm happy about. guys I totally forgot to mention this product this is the generation clay ultra ultra violet brightening purple clay mask um, it looks like that and it looks like this I got this in my Ipsy Glam Bag and guys, I'm telling you, this product is amazing. Now, let me just mention this. This is a clay mask, so it is a bit drying when it's drying down on your face. So if you have dry skin and you don't like that kind of sensation, I don't recommend this to you. But it has a nice little tingling effect that makes me feel like it's working. Um, I feel like after I use this um, mask, it really kind of ignites and brightens my skin and it kind of uh, removes the dead skin cells from the top layer of my skin. So I do recommend this and I like it. Would I repurchase it? I feel like I need something a little bit more hydrating, but I just wanted to make a mention of this, maybe possibly, um, Generation Clay has something that's just a little bit more moisturizing, but I thought I'd mention it because I'm using it. I like it Yeah <laughs> So yeah, that's that mask there I just wanted to come on here and share with you guys the stuff that has been keeping my skin looking so Delicious and so divine and I wanted to come on here without makeup to show you guys how they actually how my skin has been doing my skin has been doing great and if you guys are having skin problems or skin trouble I just wanted to give you guys some recommendations if we have the same the same skin type and I want to stress stress the importance of skincare systems because each product is created to work with the other so if you're having problems with your skin whether it be your um your actual skin or the skin on your face I would stress that you get a skincare system that actually works for you the whole system like the moisturizer the cleanser the exfoliant the toner whatever it is I recommend skincare systems because it's excuse me it's because of skincare systems that have my skin looking this good and <clears throat> excuse me I wanted to share with you guys what I've been using and give you guys recommendations on some really cool products that have been working for me. Without further ado, I'm going to go now and I hope you guys have an amazing new year and I hope you guys get everything that you set yourself to receive um, this New Year's. 
I hope that you guys have set really, um, really great and amazing intentions for the sneers and that you guys keep on top of things and never drop the ball. Keep it even if you're not bouncing it. Keep it, keep it. I hope that you guys know within yourself that you are worthy of everything. Everything that you have ever thought about and want, you are worthy of and it's for you to open up yourself to receive it. And I just wanted to come on here to tell you guys that I absolutely positively love you and if no one has told you this year that someone loves you often or anytime this year that they love you, I'm telling you, I love you, you're amazing, you're great, go out there, moisturize that beautiful skin of yours hold your head up high and shoot for the freaking stars and if not the stars beyond that okay shoot for a different freaking atmosphere and shoot for a different planet a different galaxy different universe you can do it and i wish you the best thank you so much for watching my channel beauty in all places and <laughs> this is sodia <laughs> i'm out bitch <laughs> Okay, bonus product time. Bonus skincare products, guys. I wanted to make a mention of these feet masks, just in case you also wanna take care of your feet during the winter time. These bits from Roland Jonah. Roland Jonah? Roland Jonah? I, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct, but it's these milk and bamboo vinegar feet mask. Like, I've used these, okay? They scare me a little. These are extremely moisturizing. You just put them in your sock, put them put put them on your feet, in your sock. It's kind of like a sock, and it really just moisturizes your skin. Um, they really scare me. They kind of strip your feet a little bit and makes makes them a little soft. But the skin is gonna be peeling off your feet for a little bit after you use them. But they leave your feet feeling nice I bought three of these I've only used one right because if I'm not mistaken I believe it stripped my skin the callus as well as the skin off my skin for a little bit but then it left it soft and moisturized in the end so I just wanted to make a mention of that um, I got three of these I've only used one so far just because I really haven't had the time. But I wanted to make a mention of them if you guys are also having like, you know, dry, stuffy feet that need a little bit of care this winter. Um, try these, I got these on Wish. Um, they're only a couple of dollars, so they're really inexpensive and I just wanted to make a mention of this, okay? So, bye. Beautiful skin, oh yeah, beautiful skin, oh yeah. Beautiful skin, uh huh. Beautiful skin, oh yeah. Beautiful skin, oh. Ciao, ciao, you. Oh, thank God. Thank God I um finished shooting this video. <laughs> Because who doesn't want to finish shooting their video? Uh-huh, I think I started something. I got what I wanted. Did, did, I can't feel nothing. Superhuman, even when I'm fucking. Bag rub, popping, never single bracket. Auto tune in, zero emotion. Muted, but girl, I can't feel my face. What are we smoking anyways? She said, don't like the high, I gotta waste. But could you taste, little taste? Never came, baby, I want you. I, I need to take some photos.